What's going on guys? This is Ryan from Learn Your Kids and today we are playing League of Legends. Um, if you've never heard of League of Legends or you've never seen League of Legends before, you should check out some of our other League of Legends videos because today we are playing a special game mode called Ultra Rapid Fire All Random. If you have no idea what that means at all, then uh, let me explain to you. So the first thing that you need to know is it's all random. So everyone in this game was giving a random character this game. Today I'm playing this character right here, Marauder Warwick. He's basically kind of like a like a tanky, um, health stealing um, character, wolf type character you'll see in a bit. But basically everyone's given a random character this game. And the, what the ultra rapid fire means is it means that this game is going to be chaos. It means that we can all throw all of our abilities out extremely fast. We all have extremely fast attack speed. We all have extremely fast man regenerations, lower, really low cooldowns for all of our abilities. So this game is going to be complete chaos. It's a new game mode they just released. Um, Riot Games, the creators of League of Legends, does a really good job of cycling different uh, fun game modes with their normal game as well. And as you can see, the map is a little bit different as well. Um, they spice it up and change things a little bit. So let's just get into it. Okay, so we're in lane. Um, so if you never played this character or seen Warwick before, he's basically a wolf type character that is based around like health stealing and um, basically taking damage and jumping on people. My Q is kind of a bite that'll give me health back. My E is a damage reduction. My W will allow me to track down people and my ultimate will allow me to jump to people. We want to be careful. Oh, it looks like they're already in this bush. These people, um, Nidalee, the, the person throwing spears, um, like I said, this um, <laughs> this game mode, everyone can throw all their abilities 100 times extremely fast, so we really have to watch out um, and be flexible this episode. And be f and focus. I, the majority of the skills we're going to be using today is going to be focus and flexibility, just constantly trying to dodge these spears, um, constantly be trying to um, basically adapt to the new type of characters we have. It's a lot of the same old characters, but um, now the characters can do a lot, a lot more things. They can cast their abilities a lot faster than normal um as you can see by these constant spares coming at me i just want to kind of keep hiding behind my minions right now and um try not to take a lot of damage they're they're garen meaning they're a melee guy flashed at me so um and took me pretty low so i'm just gonna back and then teleport back to lane um one thing about this game mode that's really cool is um your your summoner spells like your teleport and flash um they have really low cooldowns as well so i can just back and teleport back and then my my teleport will be up in another like minute which is a very short time compared to its normal cooldown like i said if you haven't if you're not familiar with league of legends you should definitely go watch our normal league of legends video otherwise this video may be a little bit of chaos um but yeah oh I, my teammates gotta watch out for her Okay, so basically I'm just trying to be careful, um, <laughs> try not to get hit by too many spears, and um, keep running. We're actually in a really tough lane. Oh, I died. Yeah, that's what I was saying about focusing at all times. She just kept chasing me, kept chasing me, kept chasing me, and my flash wasn't up, and just kept throwing spears at me. Um, I'm definitely going to want to get some magic regen, or um, magic resist. Um, in these games, you want to adapt to basically what's killing you. Those spears are really hurting us, and she's a magic-based uh, champion. So adapt to adapt to the situation. Um, if they have magic-based heroes, basically build magic resist. It's the same thing, just about being flexible in everyday life. If you're going to go to math class or something, and you want to bring your calculator, it's the same type of thing. Um, or if you're having a writing class, you want to bring a you want to bring an empty notebook and some pencils um, or pens. It's, it's the same type of thing. If I'm facing a magic taste base champion, I want to bring magic resist. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but their their lane's a little bit of mixed, so um, we have to be a little bit careful. We wanna we wanna focus champions together. Like we're both trying to go in for this Garen person, and we got him. It's all about staying on the same page as your teammates, and you can succeed. And you can probably see that my spears are taking a little bit, the spears are doing a little bit less damage to me because I bought that magic assist last time I back. Now my screen's all red because one of their, because their character is pretty low health. So, um, it basically means that I can run fast and track down them if I want to. We're doing a pretty good job dodging a lot of these spears. Might be dead here though. Yep. Oh, how's my teammate doing? My my lane opponent, by the way, is this character named Pantheon. He can kind of he's a Spartan type guy. He can jump on people and stuff. Um, I'm just gonna keep teleporting back to lane. 
I should have bought an item. I was kind of a misplay on my part. Um, too busy kind of focused on these um, <laughs> these spears and stuff. Not really focusing on my items, which we'll just keep trying to improve. Even though we are playing a special game mode, we do want to keep warding and everything. Um, just keep vision. You never know when um, an enemy might try and flank us or something. Um, we have to be careful, though. Oh, it looks like they're warding, too. You can see how I'm running on all four. It's now that basically... That's that blood set, which is my W's ability that allows me to um, basically move faster when enemies are lower. I want to be careful, and um, usually in normal League of Legends, I'd be pretty hesitant to use like my summoner spells like Flash and stuff. But right now, I'm just kind of using them um, however I need to because they have a really low cooldown in um, ultra rapid fire game mode. Oh, we're getting really low. We're gonna want to back. I learned my lesson from last time. Learn, ta learn your lessons. Um, make sure she's not anywhere near me when throwing these spears. I can just teleport back to lane, which I'm going to do. So, on my way, buddy. This is kind of a tough lane, but we're actually doing pretty well, I have to say. Um, Nidalee's a hard person to face. Garen isn't um, extremely hard, in my opinion, but he's definitely not extremely easy to face either. If he goes full damage, um, he will definitely hurt us with all the spinning moves and stuff. He's kind of a warrior knight that spins around and stuff. Now, by the Garen, I'm talking about this blue guy right here that we're chasing. And um, if you're wondering what abilities and stuff I'm maxing, right now I'm maxing my Q. Um, basically, so I can keep biting, I can keep getting some health back. Every time I bite, I get a little bit of health back. So it's pretty nice. Someone's around us with low health, I think. I don't think it's these guys, so I'm going to ward up. That's what my blood scent does. It basically makes me run when someone around us is low health. And these guys are full health, so we really want to be a little bit careful. Anytime I, th I think I'm going to get hit by an ability, um, I don't think I can dodge it. I want to pop my E, which is basically damage reduction as well. But, um, yeah, this... This game is definitely, Ultra Rapid Fire is definitely just about focus and flexibility for sure. Just making sure that um, we're watching all the abilities and um, we're ready for anything. Because anything can happen, but we just got a kill, so um, that's better than nothing. Um, we're not doing that bad in this lane. Keep keep this flow going. Uh, we we kind of just came down here to die. <laughs> that stinks. Oh, looks like my, my teammate's doing work, though. Oh, is he going to get two kills? What? Oh man, I thought he was going to get those two. Whatever. Oh, uh, look how low that character got. That's why. Okay, so we're just going to finish this item that we're building. We built this item called the Spirit Visage. Um, what this item basically does is gives us a lot of magic resist, and it gives us a little more health regen and stuff. So when I bite them, I'm going to heal for a little bit more, and I'll take less damage from those spears. Um, when you're building items, you definitely want to look at the entire squadron of characters and basically absorb information. Um, take the information given to you and learn from it. Um, they have a Katarina, which is another magic-based champion. Um, so this item is really good. It'll, and Vigor, which is another magic-based champion. So three-fifths of their team is magic-based, meaning that this item will definitely help us out. Minions are the key to avoiding uh, Nidalee's spares. They, they hit the minions in front of me, so um, if I can hide behind them, I'll be good. Ooh, Pantheon looks like he's doing a lot of damage, my, my lane opponent, or my lane uh, partner. I'm going to go mid right now. Um, it looks like they're kind of pushing in pretty far mid. Um, and I might be able to clean something up. I have to be careful though because I did build magic resist and now I'm facing a, an AD character. Oh my, I messed that up. <laughs> I, I, I thought that the opponent was going that way. The next thing you know, they, they ran down the lane. She has a lot of movement speed, so we want to be careful. Okay, so I got I got a um, ability on her. Hopefully my teammate can finish her off. Oh man. She has a lot of movement speed. It looks like my team's trying to clean her up, but um, hopefully they'll be able to get her. Oh, okay. It only took two of us dying, but we got her. Right now, I just bought some boots this time I back. Um, it looks like um, my, my teammate is rotating up top. Um, like I said earlier, absorb information that you have and kind of adapt to it. Um, League of Legends is definitely a game of flexibility um, and moving around wherever you're needed. If I see two people up top, then... Um, Actually, you know what? I'm just going to teleport up there. It looks like they could use my help as she gets hit by a spear. <laughs> and remember, I'm building magic resist, so it definitely doesn't hurt to kind of um, use it and face the magic people. And I've gotten pretty good at um, dodging these spears. They just picked up a dragon, which isn't great for us. It's not the end of the world, but um, they did pick up the dragon, but the kills are pretty even. 
Um, right now it's 16 to 14. <laughs> okay, awesome. So she went for she went for a dive on um on my teammate, and we ended up killing her. That's one thing you have to be careful of. Um, if you really have to respect turrets in this game. Um, if you don't respect it, you need self-control, basically. If you're going to be jumping under a turret, you need to make sure you can kill that person. Okay, we're going to flash away. He flashed at us, and he's doing a lot of damage. And I think he has his ultimate, which is basically a giant um, drop-down sword. And it doesn't feel great. I wouldn't have died, but I think he's going to get a kill for this. Yep, he gets a kill, so not too bad. Oh, he's going for a second one. Pantheon. Laying it down. That's awesome. I'm going to run down mid because um, the top laners just died. And looks like we have a nice squadron bot lane. That Sivir is kind of scary. We do want to watch out for her and respect her a little bit. Eventually, I'm going to want to build some armor to try and deal with her. I have to be careful. There is someone around me somewhere. Um, as you can see, my blood scent lighting up my screen a little bit red. Though we're just going to try and get some turret damage down right now. I want to be, I want to focus on the minions. I don't want to, um, accidentally take turret aggro or anything. My, my teammate has his ultimate. We should try and kill her up, up top. See if I can find this Nidalee. If I can bump it in Italy, I can probably uh, deal with her alone. Um, she doesn't seem to be here, though. Looks like my teammates are doing well down bot. Let's check out how they're doing. Oh, that guy got destroyed. If only she brought some magic resist like I did. If that was me, I probably wouldn't have blown up in that situation, but I still would have taken a lot of damage. I had to respect his damage. Now oh, this Nidalee character was just up top, and now she's down there. I had to use that uh, information and try and push his turret out. This game is is a giant push and pull, to be honest. If I see someone in one place, I want to push in the other. Okay, awesome. So we're going to try and get some turret damage up here to this tower. This game looks like it's going to be actually a pretty long game. It's 24 to 24, which means it's pretty close. They're getting the bot tower right now, but um, I'm getting the top tower, or at least getting some damage down. Um, like I said, it's kind of a teeter-totter, a push-pull. Um, if their entire team's bot, I should try and get something up top if I'm not going to show up to that fight, you know? Otherwise, my teammates will be like, what are you doing up there? So, I really just need to try and get something. They are teleporting up here, so I do want to be careful. I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm not sure who it is. Looks like it is Katarina. Um, I'm going to teleport bot as well and um, join this fight over here. try and get her I missed my ultimate but um might be able to get her anyway oh Beager showed up and um, he threw the box down on me the only thing about Beager in this game mode is basically he can keep dropping these boxes over and over and over um I'm gonna back and go top I don't it doesn't make sense my entire team is chasing down here um yeah okay this isn't good it looks like ah oh, looks like they're taking my um top tower and killing me um, hopefully my teammates can do something or get back in time. They do have a Sivir over here, so she may be able to end the game. Um, but hopefully they won't, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, it looks like, uh, I don't know, I think she's going to take the, take down the entire, all the turrets and end this game real quick. Oh, whatever. We, we did decent. We could have done a little bit better. In my opinion, we, um, we got okay champions. Um, I went two. I'm, I'm, I ended what two six and two. I think I could have done a little bit better, but um, that's how this game came. In, that's how this game is. It's a little random, and you don't want to get too upset by situations whether you win or lose. Hopefully, you guys had fun watching, and if you guys want to see more of this game mode, um, let me know. They are releasing new game modes, and I'll keep releasing new videos based on the new game modes. So, see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.